Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I had a few minutes before um, I get out and um, handle some business this morning. I got some running around to do before the children get home from school and everything. Um, I wanted to speak to you all about Kiara Coles. Kiara Coles, that's what I want to talk about this morning. Yeah, Kiara Coles. That's what I want to talk about this morning. Um, yesterday, I had got tagged in a video um, that was done by um, King Bookbag. He's a young man from out of Chicago, Illinois, who has been advocating for um, the young 26-year-old Keisha Coles, um, who went missing. Um, it's been 11 months and 14 days since she has went missing. Yesterday um, was her birthday. Um, she was missed, went, went, went missing. She was pregnant. Um, April um, became her due date. Um, she was, you know, like I said, still missing and everything. But it was a video done by a young advocate in Chicago, Illinois, who had been advocating for um, Kiara. And um, he made some, how I want to, he made some very, um, mm, he said some things on that video yesterday. And um, it was some things that were incriminating the family, um, making it, you know, look like, the family had something to do with her disappearance. And um, it was some things that were said um, that was supposed to be in receipts and proof and, you know, all of that on, you know, um, on why he felt like, you know, they had something, they, they were responsible for her disappearance. One of the um, reasons that, you know, he said he claimed that the family did not want the information like she it was a video of her the um day that she was supposed to have disappeared and um it was a video of her and it was supposed to be her walking to the car to her car but the person they claimed that was in the video it wasn't Kiara okay and he said that, um, the young ad advocate said that the family did not want that information to get out. You, you understand what I'm saying? They didn't want the information. It was some um, screenshots of conversations that the mom had with him on discussing the fact that letting the public know that that wasn't key error that was seen in the video. Okay, now, with that being said, a lot of times, okay, I'm going to tell you something when it comes to missing person cases. Missing person cases are very, very hard to solve. They're, they're even harder to solve than homicides, okay? We have more unsolved cold case missing person um, cases then we do have homicides, okay? And that, and I'm talking about three times more, three to four times more missing person cases, unsolved missing person cases out here than we have when it comes to homicide, un, 
solve homicide cases, okay? And I'm not saying that, you know, to take away from either of the numbers, either of the statistics, but I'm just trying to point out the fact of how hard it is to solve a missing persons case, okay? <clears throat> it's hard for the prosecutors when they do get information you know, when law enforcement get information, it's hard for them to, they might know some things, okay, going on. Trust me, a lot of times they know a lot of things. They know more than what we give them credit in knowing when it comes to a lot of these cases, if they have the right information, if the family is being honest with them, you know, and giving them the right information, if it's a situation where, you know, they're actually getting out, investigating all of the information that they receive, they have some information and they have, you know, their own beliefs on what happens with each of these cases. But the thing is, it's proving all of this stuff, okay? It's proving all of this stuff. We know how hard it is in a lot of states, you know, for these prosecutors to have the right information. They, it, it seems like, you know, to the families, a lot of times it's like they're pussyfooting around. You know, they're not, you know, moving fast enough you know, with the information. They're not gathering enough information and things of this nature. They're not trying to prove the, you know, prove the information evidence that they already have. A lot of times they are, and it's very hard. So to have a situation where, okay, they say that that wasn't her on the video, okay, and, the, and they didn't want that information to get out. Do y'all understand that information like that can compromise a case? Information like that, because I'm pretty sure that the police knows that that wasn't her on the video. I'm pretty sure that they know that a lot of things that y'all think they that they don't know. But they know a lot of shit that y'all think they don't know when it comes to that, chap that um, young woman's case. They know some things. The thing is, it's proving all of that stuff. They might do suspect different people from the family. We don't know that. But information like that, with that information getting out to the public that that was not her on that video... It starts a lot of confusion. It causes a lot of confusion, okay? Because then people, you know, I call them all the time, the Scooby-Doo Detectives. We have the Scooby-Doo Detective Agency on Facebook. Everybody is a goddamn investigator. Everybody knows everything. You know, they take these videos and they put other stuff in them. I saw that with the Kanika Jenkins case. When I saw that Kanika Jenkins case, you know what I'm saying? And I saw how they took and did that whole video. You know, they turned that whole goddamn video around. People who was coming up with their own speculations on what happened, which my beliefs that the hotel was totally negligent on how they handled that. The fact that that child was even able to get down there staggering drunk get down there and wind up dead inside of a damn freezer. That was negligence on the hotel because if that was a part of the hotel that was being reconstructive or going through construction or was closed and all of that, nobody should have had access to that part of the hotel. So on that, you know, with that being said, that's how I feel when it comes to that Kanika and Jenkins case. That, that hotel was responsible. They were negligent for everything that happened because that baby was not supposed to be able to get down there in that goddamn um, freezer and wind up dead. That's negligence. They should have been sued off the goddamn break for the negligence, okay? But getting back to this Kiara um, Cole's case, okay? Like I said, if the police knew that that was not her and the family had already told the police that that was not her in the video okay then 
Don't y'all think that that getting out to the public will compromise the case because it will let whoever that's responsible for her disappearance, they will know that the police at least know something. The police knows, law enforcement knows something. They at least know that that was not her on that damn video. They at least know that. So with that being said, good morning, that brings up speculations of foul play in her disappearance okay that brings up speculations of foul play in Kiara Cole's disappearance by knowing that that was not her walking to that car I'm pretty sure that the police the family or nobody else wanted that information to get out to the public I'm pretty sure of that I know that for a fact I know that that is a compromising of that case. Because if y'all know, if we know that, you know, that wasn't her on that video. If we know that wasn't her on that video, then we know that it was some foul play involved. And something went wrong with her disappearance. But that don't um, mean that the police don't know that. Okay, that don't mean that they already have suspects in mind, but they cannot prove. Okay, they don't have enough evidence to put this person in jail or to say this person did this or this person did that. But I'm pretty sure with them knowing that that was not her in that video, they know that it was foul play involved in the whole goddamn disappearance. Okay, so that is a situation that is some type that is some evidence that should not have gotten out to the public from the beginning. That's the compromising of that whole case with everybody knowing that that was not her in that video. So if I was her parent, if I was her mom, I would feel some kind of way about that information getting out there too. I would. Because when stuff like that gets out, the police know where it came from. They're going to not tell the family certain things. And I know this for a fact. I know this for a fact because I have dealt with different families who have went through the same situation. When, they, when the police tell them different things that they supposed to keep confidential, okay, that they supposed to keep confidential, they are not supposed to just go out and say different things because that compromises the case. The same thing with the Relisha Rudd case. Okay? It was so many different things that compromised that whole case. That's why this baby has not been found in goddamn five years. It's surpassing five years now and Relisha Rudd has not been found. Why? Because most of the goddamn evidence, like, they already knew different things that was going on. Don't think that the police don't know what's going on with that case. Because they know what's going on with that case as well. It's just having the proof. Being able to get these cases, because when they get these cases, it's hard as hell for prosecutors to prosecute these cases and get convictions. So when they take that shit to the court. They want to have all, they want to have their shit in motherfucking, like they want to have that shit perfect where they can be able to convict and they can get high convictions, okay? These people can be convicted to the full extent of the fucking law. So it's different things that we are not supposed to be, you know, just sitting around here saying when it comes to these cases, especially as families. It's when the police tell you something, that shit is not supposed to get out to nobody. It compromises the case. The fact that we all know now that that was not Kiara Coles in that video. The fact that we know that now. All of that does is compromise the case. It lets the people who are responsible for her disappearance to know that the police has got their shit. They getting their shit together. Okay. They getting their shit together. And they figuring out this shit. Like I said. They could have all kinds of different evidence. They could have to the point where they know. 
who is responsible for her disappearance, but still don't have enough evidence to prove it and have to work on getting evidence to prove it so that they can be able to prosecute and convict. Okay? So, that video that I got yesterday, I'm not saying that it's not true. And I'm not saying that it is true. Don't quote me on, I'm, you can quote me on that. I'm not saying that it is true and I'm not saying that it's not true, okay? But what I'm saying is the situation, the information with her, people knowing that that was not her in that video compromises the whole goddamn case. Because just like we sitting here and we're watching and we're trying to figure out what happened to Kiara Coles. The motherfucking person that's responsible for her disappearance is watching. He's checking everybody's page who's involved in it, who's advocating for her. He's checking all of the local news media. He's checking to see he or she or them or they, whoever... They are checking on the whole shit. They're trying to see how much information, how much, you know, evidence that they have, how much stuff they know, how many leads they get. They trying to know that just like we are. Okay? So just like we watching closely, the motherfucking perpetrator is watching closely as well. Okay? So a lot of shit is not supposed to get out into the media, into the public. Where we're going to sit up and we're going to chop this whole goddamn case up. And we're going to be thinking all kinds of stuff. And then that gets to calling the police, telling them all kinds of shit. Be, they can be in one direction and then move to another. That really is not even right. So it just sets the case back. Why do you think that child has been missing right now for 11 months and 14 days as of today? I'm going to tell y'all something. These families deal with the stuff that these families go through dealing, trying to find their missing loved one, trying to find their children, you know, everything. That's a hard goddamn thing to deal with. It's not closure when a person who has a loved one who is a victim to homicide, okay? We get, you know, we don't get the full closure because most of us are trying to find out who murdered our loved one. But at least we get to know we can put our loved one in the ground. We get to know where they at. The families of missing people, they don't have that advantage, okay? They don't know what happened to their loved one until they find their loved one. And then it still takes time to find out what happened to them and who did what they did to them. It's very hard. All of this little shit that we call ourselves out here doing being investigators, all of that type of stuff, not educating ourselves on the dynamics of missing persons, is sickening. I have seen so many cases fail because of that. So many cases not get justice because of that. So many missing people out here, cases going 30, 40 fucking years, two, three, four years because of us people out here that's out here you know putting all of this stuff out here on social media turning the whole case around like i said the police law enforcement they have a hard enough time as it is solving these cases finding our missing loved ones they have a very hard time on doing that y'all it's not easy missing person cases are very hard to solve that's why we have so many of them. And that's very hard to solve because we don't have a lot of the laws put into place 
to even give the families, you know, a leg to stand on. Most of these families don't get the media attention. They only have people like myself and a lot of the other advocates out here, you know, to get the information out there to spread awareness on their missing persons case, on their missing loved ones case. So we have to be accurate. We can't just be putting out all of this bad information. You know what I'm saying? Even if you felt something in your heart, sir, if you felt like, you know, young man, if you felt like, you know, they were responsible for Kiara's disappearance, the first thing that you should have done, okay, was went to law enforcement and let them know what you knew, if that was the case. Now get on to social media and say things, the things that you said, and then because of the fact that the family did not want you know, us to know that that wasn't her in that video and they didn't want to mention that, that's, like I said, that is something that could compromise that whole case with us knowing. Because just like we know that that wasn't her in that case now, the perfect person who is responsible for her disappearance knows that, know that too. And they also know that the police know that. So they also know that they ha are not going to get away with this. So they also know that they're going to be looking and they're going to be finding out what the fuck happened to her. Okay? If you don't work for law enforcement, you don't know, you know, and you know some things because that, that right there, when you know shit like that, and that was a lot to know. When you know some things like that, the first fucking thing I would have done was contact Chicago police. That was the first thing. That would have been the first thing that I done. My coffee getting cold. That would have been the first thing that I done was contact Chicago PD. Missing persons. And let them know all of that information. Not get on social media. Because that information even compromised the case even more. Because suppose the police knew that. Suppose the police knew everything that you said. You know what I'm saying? And they was looking in that direction. That compromised the whole fucking case. Okay? So... With that being said, we have to, like I said, do better when it comes to spreading awareness on these cases. Like, I can't be involved in a lot of things. The only thing that you're going to see on my page is accurate information. Just like the little girl, Avania Weaver, who went missing. Okay, I got some, and and come to find out she was put into you know she had was into sex trafficking and the mother and everybody knew that shit but instead of them going to the police telling them you know that hey i believe that my child has been put into sex trafficking okay they went and they filed the missing persons report like i told somebody the other day just they are very aware of the epidemic of sex trafficking, especially with underage girls. So just like you're going to file that missing persons report, you can tell them, hey, I believe that my child is involved in sex trafficking. She has ran away before. This has happened before. You tell them the goddamn truth. It saves a lot of time and a lot of money that they can be using far as deploying resources for these cold cases, deploying resources for these children that are going missing and that are being found dead. Because we have had a lot of that going on lately. Malia Davis. Different situations. Okay? Relisha Rudd has not been found as of yet. So it's no joke. We have to be very careful on the information that we put out here. And if you know something like that, the first thing that you should have done was to went to the motherfucking police, 
Chicago PD and told them what you knew. That's what you were supposed to have done. Not compromise the case even more because like I said, suppose the police knew what you were saying. Suppose they are suspecting what you were saying. So now everybody knows that. So then everybody is going to start putting their own little two cents into doing their little Scooby-Doo ass detective agency work on Facebook. Saying all kinds of stuff. And like I said, we have some cases where what that young man, that activist was saying on his video, that shit is true. We have cases where it comes to find out Families are involved. I'm not knocking that situation. I'm not saying that it's not true. But I'm not also not saying that it is true. I know for a fact that situations like that can happen. People kill people and do things for different reasons. Sometimes that shit is accidental. It could have been something that, you know, fight could have occurred. You know, somebody made her hit her head because it was like, you know, one is it was some she could have hit her head on the end of the table, whatever the case may have been. That could be true. But like I said, a lot of the times that type of information compromises the whole case. If like I said, if the police know that that was not her in that video and the family knew that and it was not supposed to gotten out to us where we know that good morning and we would and it wasn't supposed to get out to us where we knew that that compromises the whole case because like i said just like we're watching the predator the person that's responsible for her disappearance is watching as well so now he knows that the police know as well as millions of people know that that was not her on that video they know that the police know it was some type of foul play involved in her disappearance like i said we don't always know what the what law enforcement knows law enforcement knows a lot of things that we think that they don't know but they have to prove it with on a um reasonable doubt they have to prove that shit when they take these cases and they go into arrest somebody and get these warrants for arrest and everything, they have to have accurate evidence, information on this person. Because if they take it to court, then the shit just get thrown out of court. And then that's a waste of time. And the person might be responsible for it. And my, I done seen that shit happen so many times. That was not something that was supposed to that we supposed to know it wasn't so if the mom didn't want that information to get out she had a right to feel that way that compromises the case anything like that to let us know that it was foul play in her disappearance compromises that case. That's something that the police probably already, they know that. I'm, I know they know that that was not her. Whether the family said it was her or not, the police know it wasn't her. The girl was too damn tall for one thing. You can clearly see that that was not Kiara on that video. But it wasn't something that's supposed to be out. It was not. So, like I said, if the family, the mom felt like, okay, I'm pissed off about that. She has every right to be pissed off about that. That does not make her, you know, responsible for her daughter's disappearance. It doesn't. And we don't have no right to say that. And if that was the case, like I said, then you take that information to the police. Not get on social media. What is up to what? 2,000, 3,000 views right now for two or 3,000 people to see. You were supposed to took that information to Chicago PD and let them know. Like I said, you, you never knew. 
They could have that same, they could be thinking the same thing. Ain't no telling what they thinking. But don't think that they don't know what the hell is going on. Don't think that. That's why a lot of these cases go unsolved. Like I said, that's why we still have Relisha Rudd missing for five years. When I first started in radio, that was one of the first cases that I started doing my own little look into because I knew she was missing. Being from D.C., that's all I heard about when she first went missing. But I didn't get into the dynamics of the case. I only read, I didn't even read a lot of the things that was mentioned you know, on me, on social media, on the news, all of that stuff in the newspapers. I just basically, you know, um, once I got into the case, I did start researching accurate information. I started going to websites that had accurate information. Not, you know, these YouTube bloggers, and I'm not knocking nothing that they do. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't rely on, that wasn't my source of research. Um, search when I was you know first started off with religious case it just wasn't but as I got to you know doing my research not investigation research on her case I found out a lot of things in the process of that I have my own beliefs on it and I have spoke on them you know, a couple of times. Like, I believe deep down in my heart that she's no longer with us. And I believe deep down in my heart that she's in aquatic gardens. That's what I believe. I might be wrong. I'm not going off. This is not, I'm not a medium or a psychic or anything like that. I'm just going off my gut. What my gut is telling me. That that baby is no longer with us. That law enforcement knows that and knowing different things that I know on that case, know, knowing how I know how that case is being handled today, I'm pretty much certain that law enforcement believes that she's no longer with us too. So, we have to be very careful on the information that is leaked out here to the public. A lot of things is not for the public. It compromises the case. It has these cases going cold very quickly. We have to do better. Okay? My um, tablet is going dead, but I will be back to speak on this a little more. I'm not done with this because I just feel some kind of way about how that whole thing was handled. You know? And I'm not saying that I don't believe what the young man is saying and I'm not saying that I do believe but I know that information like that leaked out to the public will compromise the whole case and the family has every right the mom has every right to feel some kind of way about that information getting out maybe the police told her not to say anything or whatever the case may be when you leak stuff like that out, the police has a hard time with even giving you, you know, more information. They might have more things. That's why a lot of these families don't know what's going on with their own cases because they get information. They leak it out to, pe you know, tell people, certain people, you know what I'm saying? And then the shit gets out and then that's it. It compromises the whole case. Y'all have to watch what y'all say. If you're going to help these people in this situation with their missing loved ones, spread, spread awareness on it. Spread accurate information. If you have something incriminating that might break, this, break their cases, then you need to go to the police about it. Not spread it all over social media. I'll be back.